Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video and I would like to wish all of you a happy Memorial Day. Um, it's Sunday for me right now. Um, I figured that it would take me, you know, I figured I'd cut the video today and go ahead and post it tomorrow on Memorial Day. Um, so I hope you all are having a good Memorial Day, and let's all stop and pause for a moment and remember why, what this day is truly about, and which is those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. Um, sometimes that sacrifice was made in um, on battlefields that, well, you know. Um, might be a little bit confusing of why they were there, but, you know, when you sign up for the military, you run that risk. For those of you, for those viewers of mine, such as Dennis and Jill, um, thank you for your service. Um, but anyways, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're doing for the shade. Um, the razor is going to be my beautiful bronze timeless 0 0.75 blade gap or 0 0.8 um, 0 0.78 blade gap open comb bronze timeless three-piece razor the blade that I'm going to be running in that which is I've never done this blade razor combination let me get it out of my little tin here and it is a brand spanking new feather high stainless there's the front or maybe that way this timeless is one of my most aggressive razors so I figure what the heck let's go ahead and let's run the most aggressive blade I have in my blade box one moment, guys. Let me get this the rest of the way open. Wow. I would also like to say if you're not one of my regular subscribers, or even if you are one of my regular subscribers, and you have a friend or a family member who gave that ultimate sacrifice on the battlefield for our nation, um, my condolences, but... He or she definitely probably did what, you know, um, gave that sacrifice doing what they loved and what they truly wanted to do in life. Anyways, so these timeless razors are pretty nice if you've never used one. If you look on the top cap, it's got these tabs that stick up instead of the pins. And the blade just goes on there really good. And then once you put that bottom cap or that face plate, and oops, lock that hand, you know, tighten that handle down, which you don't have to tighten, you know, as Geo Fatboy would say, King Kong grip. You know, just snug it nicely down, and, you know, there you go. Um, decent blade exposure on it. Not major, but decent. Um, decent blade gap. Anyways, now the brush. I went ahead and I have something to show you guys. Um, Ken Surfs, he's got his crystal skull. And Golden Rib, he's ended up getting the crystal skull as well. Um... Real quick, let me get here. The brush is going to be my Razor Rock 24mm 2 band finest badger in the barber handle, acrylic barber handle. Really nice brush. But my brush soaker, I went ahead and I used to use the, um, uh, I was using a, um, what do you call it, Art of Shaving Copper Mug. And I want to have a brush made to look like what I'm going to show you, but it hasn't worked out as of yet, but it's this. 
It's a goblet with a skeletal arm holding up a skull. And I thought, you know, I got thinking, you know what? Let's see. And it turns out it's perfect. The brush pretty much stands up real quick. As you can see, the brush stands up almost totally straight in that. So, you know, um, the copper mug, the artist shaving copper mug, the, um, sometimes the brush would just fall over, you know, it would like kind of lean way over in it because it was wider. So I thought, let's give it a shot and it worked out pretty good. Anyways, today I'm using a cream and it's one I got from Dennis and it is this. I don't know if you can see that. This is the Palm Olive for Men Shave, Classic Shaving Cream. Comes in a tube like so. So we're going to use that for the first time. So I'll go ahead and I'll just squeeze some of the cream on it like so. Nice thing is, I've got well, I've got some PAA um, Red Planet still up in that timeless lather bowl so I figured you know what it's a the tube so what the heck put the lid back on this one moment folks anyways so let's go ahead and let's get the face wet and get lathering so the scent it's not real powerful it's not in your face but it's pleasant I had to add a little bit of water, but, you know. So, but, nice cream. It lathers up rather nice on the face. A super uber thick monstrous lather on my face. Um, some guys do, some guys don't. I just never was a huge fan of that. But hey, you know, um, it works. Works for me at least. Let's go ahead and get some heat in this blade. And of course I forgot to use the PAA cube again. Dang it. Oh yeah, oh that's a nice combination. It's going through quite nicely. My little pimple, I think I just took the head off it. Or, well, I think might have been a little pimple. So, a little bit of water to my bowl. My savior of the senator. Um, my last video, I believe I mentioned about the... Uh, Gillette 38 Gillette Cinder of mine flipping out of my hand and landing in that bowl. I think if it would have hit the uh, porcelain sink or floor, I wouldn't have been happy. But then again, you never know. Um, my 64 Slim Adjustable. Something fell off my poche shell and um, caught my little plate or tray. 
that I um, plastic tray. This little microwaveable plate. Then I um, set my razor and stuff on while I'm shaving, and it flicked my slim adjustable up in the air, and it came down and hit our floor, or hit the floor, and our we've got all tile floors and. My heart sunk. I could. I. I just knew it was going to be messed up, and it didn't bend it. Didn't. Didn't damage it whatsoever. Yeah, it's a pretty decent first. Oh, got a little spot right there. Um, there. Anyway, so first pass done. Yeah, this palm olive shave cream is really, really good. I think I nicked my upper lip, I'm not sure, but it's not got a huge amount of residual slickness, but then again, it's a cream. Let's add a little bit more water. But, um, Nice thing about creams versus soaps, you know, if the cream's in a tube, or even if it's in a tub, you can just scoop it out, put it your, you know, put it there on your brush. Okay, guys, put down your brush, you know, to squeeze it out on your brush like toothpaste. And then you ain't got to worry about letting your tub of soap air dry. You know, unless you're one of those guys that, guys or gals that, um, that's nice. Unless you're one of those guys or gals that, you know, always scoops it out of the tub and sticks it in the bowl and lathers up in the bowl, which... I know some guys do that because they don't want to, you know, they don't want to just, or they just don't want to, you know, run the risk of, I don't know, letting their soap spoil or whatever. Which, I respect that, just, well, sometimes that's just a little bit too much work for me. Cross the grain. Yeah, I thought considering the blade gap on this, on this timeless, I thought that a feather blade would feel a little more aggressive in it. So, my last video I did a couple of days ago, I was looking at it, getting ready to edit it. And, um, well, part of the video had... You know, the camera cut off. I'm not sure. Camera cut off, I think. But part of the video wasn't there. Oh, across the screen. Um, and I used that Gillette Super Click. Or a Gillette Super Click I got from Dennis. And uh, I'll do another video a little while down the road doing it. And, um,. I was very surprised. That little super click. I don't know if the Ruby clicks are basically the same thing, but the super clicks, like, what is it? Anywhere from three dollars and seventy-five cents to four forty-eight on eBay. So. Nice, quite nice, quite nice indeed. There. That's two done. All I've got to do is a little paint over here. Because pretty much all the bulk of the whiskers are gone, so... Whoa. 
don't know how the weather is where you all live, but here it is cold, it is wet, it is raining, it is absolutely miserable, so... Give scroll to on the neck at an angle. It's turned out to be quite a comfortable little shave here. Like I said, the palm oil don't offer the greatest residual slickness. However, it offers enough slickness to. I just noticed. My bottom lip is tangling just a tiny bit. Um, so, I don't know if that's because I have a very, very mild reaction to one of the ingredients or what. Um, I mean, I'm not like swelling up and Sound like The Rock did on that one movie where he was a football player and found out he had a kid, a little girl. No. He ate a cookie and asked what was in it and she's all running to the ingredients and she's all cinnamon and he's all cinnamon, I'm allergic to it, cinnamon. That was a really good movie. Or uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, as he likes to be called these days. Um, speaking of Dwayne, I was, um, there's a YouTuber. If you're into car videos, um, check out Hoovy's Garage if you ain't checked it out, you ever seen this channel. And, uh, <laughs> he buys cars that, um, he'll buy the cheapest example and he'll put money into it and then play with it for a while and then lose it or not lose it, sell it. A lot of times he loses his shirt, but you know, he's got a lot of years so he makes a decent living I guess off of it, enough to move his family into a nice house and do a garage renovation and all that. But anyways, he bought a Toyota Prius, the battery was shot and he went ahead and he fixed it. Rebuilt the battery himself, ordered, bought new cells, rebuilt the battery for the, the hybrid battery and, and ran it. Well, he goes ahead and he wants to give it the Fast and Furious treatment. So there's a Toyota Supra that's like an orange color that's lowered and all that, uh, or pretty low to the ground. And he basically wanted his Prius to be like that Supra. And oh, missed a spot right there. So he, you know, gave it the Fast and Furious treatment, and the last thing he needed to do was um, add nitrous oxide. Well, long story short, when that was my son. When he finally got a chance to test out the nitrous, let's just say he completely exploded his motor to the point where he found a chunk of the block with the oil filter still attached to it in the street. Um, yeah, it didn't work out good. If you want to see that video, I'll, I'll link it here in the description so you can sit there and check it out. You might get a kick out of it. He, he does some videos are pretty entertaining I must say anyways so I'll see y'all back here for the post anyways figured part of the post shave is the alum so we'll see what the alum says about 
my idea about a feather blade and a time wash. Let me get a little water. Yeah, if you're not a don't hunt, oh yeah, it's it's barking, it's barking. But hmm, a little lighter touch next time I try that blade and razor combo. Yeah, if you're not a fan of Cincy Shade or not a follower of Cincy Shades, um. You, know, you can check him out. He's back if you are a follower of his. If you do follow his channel and he hasn't done anything and you haven't seen that he's done anything in a while, he's back and, you know, and did a pretty good video. Um, he used that Replitech in it. So if you want to go ahead, um, if you want to check out his video, you know, you can go ahead and you can check him out. Anyhow, um, so shout out to Sensi. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, anyways. So, I'll be back after I shave the head. Anyways, guys, this is the pup. Come on, Dottie. Come here. It's okay. Come on. This is our pup, Dottie. Hi, Dottie. Look at the camera. This is our pup, Dottie. She's American Staff and Queensland Healer. She's really a timid pooch. She just doesn't like being off her feet much. Come on, girl. Anyways, so that's our newest addition to the family. Um, Lovable little dog. Took her a bit to get used to me, but once she did, her and I got along great. Um, I think she was kind of tormented by um, a male where she lived before. So, you know, it took a, little, a bit for me to break through to her um, and for her to trust me. But anyways, um, we're buds now. So, anyhow, um, the shave was great. Uh, you know, I have absolutely no complaints. As far as my initial use, got a little breakout spot right there. As far as initial use with the Palmolive Shave Cream, um, other than right here around my lips, it got a little tingly, but that was the only spot. Um, and it didn't get so bad where it was like, oh man, I gotta get this off my face. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll definitely keep it in my rotation. Um, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, he did a, a review of the Gillette Pure Shaving Cream. And sounds like, you know, I'm definitely very, very interested in picking that up and giving it a try. Um, glad to see Gillette's, kind of, you know, doing that. Anyways, um, first off, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Uh, yeah, the Feather and uh, Timeless combo. Um, very smooth, but, you know, I could definitely tell when I put the alum on. I could definitely tell that I got close. <laughs> um, something I haven't used in a bit. Nivea for sensitive skin after shape bomb. <clears throat> you know, the weather's sucked here. Used too much, dang it. The weather has sucked here uh, this past week or so. So, hang on, guys. Oh, I should just rub down my arms and moisturize, as they would say. Got my hands real quick. But yeah, the weather's been a little rough, been wet. Um. Still looks not a lot of light coming through the bathroom window, so still seems a bit dreary out. Went ahead and went to go outside earlier and I opened the door, the back door, the sliding glass door. It was just coming down. Wow, I really used way too much. Um <laughs> One minute, guys. Anyways, yeah, I um, had to rinse my hands off and go ahead and go back to rubbing it in. I mean, yeah, I definitely used way, way too much. And the aftershave, as soon as I can find it, which is probably going to burn like a mother, Panade Clubbing. I love the smell of this stuff. 
Ah. I went overboard. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, hmm, that's a little bit, no, not bad, not as bad as I thought it'd be. Anyways, so, yeah, um, that's the shave. I'm very happy with it, got me very close, very smooth. Um, if y'all are celebrating where you live, if y'all are celebrating Memorial Day, um, you know, enjoy Enjoy your hamburgers, hot dogs, if you're barbecuing. Um, try not to get to the point where you need to hang up the <laughs> hangover the night, where you get a hangover the next morning. Um, and if you do, then, well, you worked hard for it. You earned it. <laughs> Anyways, so y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all in the next video. God, that stuff smells good. And on the flip side of the plate. Bye-bye now.